today uh, I'm talking to you about Taylor Swift. I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. Uh, as the dad of four daughters, uh, ranging between 20 and 31, uh, I've spent many years driving my daughters around listening to Taylor Swift, and I am an absolute convert. She'll have five concerts in February. Melbourne and Sydney only, though. Mr Wallace says he's found a blank space in an itinerary where she could make it to the Sunshine State. There is about a week in between her three concerts in, uh, in Sydney and her two concerts in Melbourne. And that is a perfect opportunity. Taylor, uh, I'm, I'm asking you, I'm begging you, I'm pleading with you. I'll get down on my knees if I have to. Please come to Queensland. Joining me live now is Liberal MP Andrew Wallace here in the studio. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Tom. It sounds to me like a dad with four daughters <laughs> has had a bit of pressure applied to him and they said, come on, you say you're pretty important. What can you do for us here? No, I can honestly say there's uh, no communication between my girls and I on this issue. This is absolutely dri driven by me. Right. So <laughs> did, did you get them into Taylor? Are they Taylor Swift fans? Uh, you... they're all, the whole family is Taylor Swift fans, right. but I'm probably the number one You're fan. the number one? I am, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. What, what led to it? You just you like the, the Look, tunes, the catchiness? She's, she's a 12-time Grammy Award winning artist. Uh, You're all over the stats here as well. Oh, uh, yeah, well, she her earlier work, which was country and western stuff, I really enjoyed. Okay. She, went in, she went into sort of a bit of the pop later on, which, yeah, it was a bit iffy on, but then she went into some folk stuff. And that's that folk, the country and western early stuff, the folk stuff I really love. I'm going to sound old here because I just looked up today that a fan is called a Swifty. So Swifty. You're, you're a Swifty. I am definitely a Swifty. All right. Favourite song? All too well. I'll pretend I know that. I'll probably know it when I hear it. I just... it it's part of her folk uh, okay. music genre. It's, 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 she's an amazing woman, a young woman who's done so well and very well respected uh, around the world with her terrific skills. What's interesting is, do you think, you know, this venue they're going to build in the middle of Brisbane by the state and federal governments for the Olympics, that could be the sort of thing that might get these types of acts in the future to Brisbane. Is, is that a missing cog here? That would be a state-of-the-art venue right in the city? Well, it would be, but I think what's more important is that uh, I'm pitching for the Sunshine Coast. So uh, a couple of years ago, we had uh, Elton John and his Goodbye Yellow Brick Road tour to the Sunny Coast, the, the Sunny Coast Stadium. Um, it's a boutique stadium. I've already been on the, on the phone to uh, Grantley Switzer at the Sunshine Coast Council this morning. He's confirmed with me that the window of opportunity between the Melbourne tour and the, and the Sydney tour is free at the Sunshine Coast so you're, you're really trying to put all the things I, in place. I here. am, absolutely. Why wouldn't I be? I mean, you know, this is a, a terrific thing for Queensland if we can get her here. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, it's not just young people that enjoy Taylor Swift. It's, it's people of all ages. Why, well, are you calling yourself an old person? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it's a question, not a suggestion. <laughs> I'll be careful here. All right. Well, look, you, you've got a conflict of interest, clearly, but you're making it um, Absolutely. obvious.